Welcome to this training lesson on the use of the Hornet's M61A2 20mm cannon. Mounted on the nose of the aircraft, it can be loaded with up to 578 rounds and has a firing rate of either 4,000 or 6,000 rounds per minute. When too close for missiles, the gun is a great option in a dogfight. I currently have the lesson paused as we talk about the AA gun system. Press spacebar to continue. To start, let's first get the AA gun set up. The easiest way to do this is by simply pressing aft on the weapon select switch or press left shift and X. Please do so now. With the AA gun selected, note that the master mode was automatically set to AA. The left DDI displays the AA gun format, the HUD is in the gun auto acquisition mode, and the right DDI is in the AA radar page with air combat maneuvering mode selected. Let's first take a closer look at the AA gun format page on the left DDI. Above the wing form, you see the number of gun rounds remaining, 578. And below that, you see the state of the master arm switch. On the left side of the page, you have the gun round type selection of M50 or PGU-28. You want to make sure that this selection matches what you have loaded on the aircraft. Press the M50 push button to select M50 rounds. In the bottom of the left format are push buttons for high and low gun fire rate. Low fires the gun at 4,000 rounds per minute and high fires the gun at 6,000 rounds per minute. Select the high option. With no radar lock on the target, you will use the lead computing optical sight, also called the funnel. Simply put, with a wingspan entered, you will fly your Hornet to place the wingtips of the target's aircraft just touching the sides of the funnel. When they are, you have a good firing solution to hit the target. To enter the correct target wingspan, press the UFC push button. Our target aircraft will be a MiG-29 with a wingspan of approximately 37 feet. The top option select window is marked WS for wingspan. Press the option select button on the left. This will allow us to enter a target wingspan. On the UFC keypad, Type in 37 and then press enter on the UFC keypad. Press spacebar when done. With that done, you will now note that the WSPN or wingspan indication on the top right portion of the AA gun format page displays 037 to the right. Now let's take a look at the HUD. Currently, you are in the gun auto acquisition mode. This is indicated by the large dashed circle on the HUD. Also note that the selected weapon, gun, indicated near the bottom center of the HUD and the number of rounds remaining below it. To lock up a target, simply fly to place your target within 5 miles inside the dashed circle. Until you have a target locked though, you can use the gun funnel. In addition to the gun auto acquisition mode, you also have the bore sight auto, vertical, and wide ACM modes. But we will talk about those in a separate lesson. When you are ready, press spacebar and I will unpause the lesson. Ahead of you are two drone MiG-29s. Place them within the dash circle on the HUD to lock one of them up. Upon doing so, you now have some new information on the HUD for a locked target. You have your VC closure, velocity and target range below it on the right side of the HUD. The locked target has a target designation box or diamond around it and an aiming reticle with a pipper in the center. Along the outside of the aiming reticle is a line that indicates maximum gun range. Fly to place the pipper in the center of the aiming reticle over the target and pull the trigger when the target is within range. When the pipper is over the target and within range, a shoot cue will appear over the target. To unlock the target, press the undesignated button on your stick or press S. Good job, now splash the second drone. Splash two, great job using the AA gun. This is a great weapon in close and when Winchester on missiles. Press escape to end the lesson.